What's up everybody, Mr. Frags here from ArmageddonGaming.com and this is Darksiders Apocalyptic Difficulty Walkthrough with all the collectibles. So you're going to put that beam going now. Uh, one down here. Shoot a portal on this wall right here. There's no beam yet. We're going to go get that beam. And we're going to do that by, what do you know? There we go. You guys should be catching on to how to do this by now. This is definitely a game with some pretty tricky puzzles in it. My first playthrough probably took me about 15 hours. 15 to 16 hours, I'd say. This playthrough took me maybe 10. That's just because of all the puzzles. 10 to 11, this one took me. So you're going to come down here, you're going to spawn these mirrors. Uh, you know what to do with them. Hit him with your crossblade. Except this time, there isn't three mirrors, even though three of them popped up. No mirror on that one, and no mirror on that one. So make this easy, and smack that mirror. And that completos this room out. So once those mirrors are out of the way, we're pretty much done in here. Never gonna come back here again. You just gotta do this part again. It's pretty much the same thing as the second beam we got. Just portal here, portal there, portal everywhere. Don't worry, this beam can't hurt you, it's perfectly harmless. Shoot a portal through yonder. Charge portal. Go with the charged. Jump on through and then replace those two portals with the spinning guys. These big platforms here. And we'll move our portal into the next room. We're getting there. We're getting there. And then, once you have the two portals on the two spinning blades, or platforms, whatever you want to call them, it'll bring the beam right back here, and into the next room. Now, this can be a pretty tricky puzzle if you don't know how to do it. So you see three switches in the room we're going to activate. We're actually going to go grab an artifact. A champion artifact. So glide on over this. It's going to take you up here. This is a pretty easy one to get, assuming you know what's there. Um, grab this health chest and then start heading up this way. Charge the portal on the ground, not the one on the wall, because it's useless and takes up too much time because I'm impatient. Run up here and you'll see a portal on top of the spinning thing. Charge a portal up there. Make sure you charge it. And head down and just jump through this portal. And it'll propel you right up here and grab your artifact. Now head back to the center platform. And this is what you gotta do. Put one portal there, one portal there. Run across here, and we'll have a time activating mechanism to slow down time. So slow that beast down. Run back to the center platform as fast as you can. Grab your crossblade, hit that one, and then hit these two. And the door will raise, the beam will go through the door, and we'll all be happy. You might get locked out after you redirect the beam, but it's no problem. You don't get to slow down time again. The reason you slow down time is because 
if the beam touches either one of the crystals that activate it, it kind of hardens them and makes them useless and you can't hit them. And if you just try to do it real quick, you won't have enough time. I've had a friend that did it one time, my friend Brizzo did it, because he was yelling at me when I told him to slow down time and said that there was no time slowing, and I proved him wrong. But he's still a beast for doing it. So now just a rookie long elevator ride down, and we're going to head on to the final boss of this area.